The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas, February 16, 17, and 18 in 2018. If you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto, to hear directly from the top minds in this field, to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies poised to transform our lives for better or worse are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used or just around the corner from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Future Tech Podcast. I'm Chris Amsler, and our guest today is Michael Gord with MLG Blockchain, working with enterprise blockchain and ICO development. Welcome, Michael. How are you doing today? Doing great, Chris. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Tell us a, a bit more about MLG Blockchain. Yeah, for sure. So we provide turnkey execution to uh, facilitate ICOs. Um, so we have a line of business for each of the different steps required to successfully ICO, and then after a token sale to have continued uh, continued token adoption and real world usefulness um, and increased liquidity. Uh, and then we also do enterprise consulting and development and education. Very good. What's your What's your background leading into this? Uh, so I've been in the blockchain industry pretty much my whole career. Um, I was really lucky when I went to university. I, I lived a couple blocks from the Bitcoin embassy, which was the first physical location to advocate for uh, digital currencies and blockchains in the world. Uh, so I started the McGill Students Cryptocurrency Club and McGill Students FinTech Association to um, to help myself and, and my peers uh, get involved in the blockchain industry. And, um, and I had access to, um, the, to, to, I guess, global initiatives that were, that were going on um, through the, the Bitcoin embassy. Um, and I was, I was excited about uh, the opportunities in blockchain that were happening all around. So I um, started to encourage my friends to start blockchain clubs at their university between Toronto and Montreal. Um, and then I started Bitcoin Canada because I was about to graduate and wanted a scope that um, I could continue to grow post-graduation. Um, and then when I graduated, I started MLG um, to really focus on blockchains full-time. Uh, so it seems like you're, you're really interested, interested in the education part of things. What do you think have been some barriers or maybe roadblocks to uh, education in the blockchain world? Yeah, so super passionate about about education. Um, I forgot to mention, I, I after starting the blockchain clubs, we uh, joined the College Cryptocurrency Network at the time and helped uh, rebrand it to the Blockchain Education Network and expand its operations globally. Um, so I'm I'm super passionate about blockchain education because I think that blockchains are the most exciting technology of our generation. Um, I think more people need to learn about what they are, how to work with them, and I think that more young people need to uh, consider blockchains as a viable career path. Um, so for that, we're, um, we're launching events like Canada's Exile Blockchain Exec and, and like Blockchain Madness and, uh, and others to um, help students get into the blockchain industry. How does, uh, can you be more specific about how Blockchain Exec gets those students involved? Yeah, so Canada's Next Top Blockchain Exec is a national case competition that we launched last week um, with the Blockchain Education Network and, and some of the universities across Canada. Um, that is a three-part case competition. Um, the first is the first round is open to um, to anyone as long as there's a single as long as there's a student in Canadian university in their group. And essentially, uh, the the teams are able to. Uh, make a proposal for any company they think would bring value to having a token powering their network. Um, and then 25 teams will be invited to participate in phase two, where they will have a actual industry problem that 
uh, they'll need to refine their proposal to match, and five of those teams will be invited to Toronto to propose uh, to uh, to have a, another change to their to the case and um, to pre- present to industry judges to uh, get jobs and to win tokens and prizes. Okay. Well, very good. And I understand that you recently launched um, Airdrop X. Is that correct? Yeah. What's uh, what does Airdrop X solve? Uh, so Airdrop X is a social airdropping platform to help facilitate um, educational airdrops. Uh, I think the the number one indicator of, on the success of a uh, token economy is whether the tokens can um, can have an increasingly growing network. If the network is growing, then the demand for the tokens will be growing. Um, if there's other stuff like real world usefulness and uh, and uh, and and liquidity and there's there's infrastructure to to support the growing adoption are are also important. Um, but with MLG, we're creating um, solutions to help our token clients have easier times creating uh, these global network effects and these real world uh, enterprise uh, partnerships and uh, and and liquidity. Um, so for network effects, Airdrop X is is a social airdropping platform where anyone can sign up um, to to receive tokens. But to sign up, they need to um, they they learn about what the what the token does and the value proposition of the token. They join the tokens community, um, which creates uh, you know very large communities quickly, and they need to share the message with their social network. Uh, so it creates a viral ripple effect, as as we call it, um, and uh, and it essentially creates the first few thousand people in in new token projects. Um, and then the ones that want to be involved reach out to host events, um, so the tokens can identify the region heads uh, or prospective region heads around the world that want to get involved in hosting events in their region to continue to grow the network effects for the token. Now, you mentioned network effects a lot. Can you can you break that down for maybe someone that's not familiar with that terminology? Yeah, so basically, um, I think that similar to um, to websites, I think that if a website has a strong community, has a strong uh, network of users, um, then it has it has a value proposition and an increasingly big value proposition the faster the community of users is growing. So it's the same thing for a token. If the community of people that are advocating, enthusiastic for the token is growing quickly, then it becomes a lot easier to um, to get real world partnerships because there's a there's a demand for the token and there's a quickly growing user base for the token. Um, it creates a demand for, um, for for real businesses in the space to integrate the token to power to also power their networks because it it brings with it the thousands of, of people that hold the token um, and it makes it easier to be listed on exchanges and other things that um, that are required to to for a token to be successful. So the the traffic right. essentially essentially network effects is is just um, the speed that a, the community of users is growing for either a website okay. or a token project or anything. Okay, that's yeah, that's an excellent explanation of that. Um, now I understand you're speaking at the Bitcoin Super Conference in Dallas later this week. Can you give us a preview of what you'll be talking about? Yeah, definitely. So the title of the presentation is "Creating Global Network Effects." Um, I'm going to be talking about um, why or how blockchains, um, why I think blockchains are going to be extremely disruptive as quickly as I think they do, using cars as an example. Um, and then I identify uh, some trends that I think are happening in the blockchain industry, um, like blockchain mergers and acquisitions and, um, and public companies and, um, and existing companies looking to do ICOs um, and why I think ICOs are, are here to stay. Um, I identify some, some trends that I've been seeing with ICOs. Um, and then I uh, explain why I think that uh, blockchains are the foundational layer for for many different exponential technologies that are all converging at the same time uh, in a similar way to the 
to the second side of the chessboard analogy. Um, and then I explain how I, I think that, um, or how, how to uh, create, or some, some examples of how to create global network effects um, using some of the case studies that we've had with AirdropX and with MLG. Okay, that sounds, that sounds like a lot of exciting information. Um, any, where should people contact you to find out more? The best place to contact me at MLG is um, on the contact form of the website. And then the best place to contact the Blockchain Education Network is uh, the contact form of blockchainedu.org. Very good. Any final thoughts before we wrap today? You ask any final thoughts? Yes. Any final thoughts before we wrap today? Um, I think that's everything. I'm excited for um, for the Bitcoin Super Conference. Should be a good time. My first time in Dallas, so I'm excited about that. Excellent. Well, welcome to Texas. That'll be a, a lot of fun. Thanks. Michael Gord with MLG Blockchain. I want to thank everybody for listening in to the future podcast, and we will see you next time. The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference is coming to Dallas, Texas, February 16, 17, and 18 in 2018. If you know of a better way to get the latest insider knowledge about crypto, to hear directly from the top minds in this field, to interact personally with 800 fellow crypto lovers, hodlers, investors, miners, traders, developers, and founders, then I'd like to hear about it. If you don't, then you don't want to miss out. Register today for the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Blockchain Super Conference. Go to BitcoinSuperConference.com and register today as a super early bird to get the lowest rates on tickets and hotel rooms. That's BitcoinSuperConference.com. You have been listening to Almost Here, Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast, post a review, to discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.